Good, uh, good afternoon, YouTube. It's uh, Mr. Mother three ten here, doing a sort of a webcam video. Keep uh, losing the camera. Um, anyway, first things first, housekeeping. <coughs> I am smoking. I don't know if you can see it that clearly, but it's a uh, it's a falcon, all wood. Uh, a bit bizarre, really. As if anyone knows exactly when they made these sort of pipes or wood or briar ones be yeah, interesting and in it I'm trying to smoke GLT's black point sorry yes black point very nice. Tried a little bit of it at Pipe Club a couple of weeks ago now. It's very nice. Uh, I do like it a lot actually. It's in the second pipe of it and it's... I don't know if it's just the pipe that's not liking. But it was uh, lit very well the first time I tried it. Very nice, very nice. Tried the uh, Peterson Sunset Summer Summer summertime the new one for this summer the coconut and lime uh, smells nice tastes horrible don't get on with pizza mixes at the moment for some reason but why else for the try I think I might have only bought those two at the uh, club Anyway, the GLP is fantastic. Right, today's video, as I promised, the rest of my snap reviews from what I've got. Let's uh, get them all out. Um, as I was talking about with the last with, with the Jackson's Cherry Menthol, I've uh, been trying the coffee cream and the English toffee. And they are nothing special. Couldn't could get a bit of the a vague toffee flavour from a toffee one but I was quite disappointed all in all. So uh, I won't be going those two again. Cherry menthol, that's a, that's a cracker. But uh, not the other two. Now some snuff I got a while ago which got me on to buying the other ones now. Um, Latakia, 860, 1860 sorry. Very nice. It, it drives. I, I'm a big fan of Latakia, and this, this is heaven. I'd, first time I've seen her, just a pure sort of Latakia blend of snuff, and it's uh, fantastic. It's quite a useful container, which uh, I'll show you in this one, which is a gingerbread one. This is my favourite snuff, I think, so far. It just smells of Christmas. And it lingers quite a while as well. Um, also comes in this quite a good container. A uh, little flip lid, little grill there, so you, it sort of makes it a bit fine. I know clumps come out. Well, not big clumps anyway. And it is refillable, so you can take the lid off it. So. Once you finish one of these, you can uh, just put a different kind of snuff in it. So you've got, obviously, um, like this next one I'm going to talk about, the Freiburg and Treyer ones. Obviously, nice tins, you can pinch out of these very nicely. But, 
when you get to the bottom it's a bit more difficult so it gets the same sort of tapping out issue a bit too much can, can come out um, it's not going well this smoking today not had a pipe in a few days and it's uh, appears to have forgotten how to smoke Yeah, but the wood, I really nice, very floral one. Mm. A bit like a uh, Palmer Violet. Not really a fan of the, the taste of those, but Palmer Violet is also a bit nappy powderish, um, but still very nice. Very bog and uh, try a great grapes sort of brand. Get a uh, very old fashioned ones, but they do, they, they stay around for a long time, which is good. And uh, yes, I'm going to kill this in a minute. Well, you can't see them, I've got some friends with me today. A bit tacked me. You can see there on the wall he is a nice little I think he's a stoat or polecat little baby one but he will shortly be appearing in video with a cigar in his mouth hopefully I'm going to be uh, a quit, uh, fitting him with one but that's just enough is what we're all here for back to the old uh, Wilsons of Sharrow Peach Melba. Great, great little flavour. Um, doesn't last too long, the smell, but it's a very nice peach when it hits you. It's really lovely. Um, it's not too, not too light, light, not too dark. It just smells of, um, it's like sort of, you know, your uh, Liptons or whatever iced tea bottles yet. Yeah. It's a nice little peach flavour. Never actually had a peach melba so I can't know if it actually tastes like one of them. Uh, but still really nice. Uh, next one, lemon and thyme. This was, oh, I did enjoy this one. Similar sort of consistency to the Peach Melba, I think uh, most of these uh, Wilson's ones are. It's very herby. You get a, you get a hint of lemon in it, and I'd like more lemon in it. But I imagine if they put too much lemon in it, it would just wipe out the thyme flavour. So it's a good balance for. I think if they'd gone too much lemon in it, it could have ruined it. So it's really nice as it is anyway. It's uh, a nice change from the sort of floral sweet ones really and it's a uh, there's it, it, a sweetness to it but it's quite a nice savoury sort of smell similar to um, the herby similar to uh, sea breezes which is very nice salty and herby as well it's lovely raved on about this black point and I'm starting to, starting to hate it now. Probably my packing ability has gone out the window. Right, the last snuff I'm going to talk about, which is one I bought at Pipe Club, Royal George. Now, I can't pin this one down. It reminds me, it just it brings to mind sort of a ladies' hand moisturiser sort of thing, like uh, sheer butter and cocoa, but all those things, something something like that. Cre it's almost creamy. Uh, let's open it up. Yeah, it's quite a clean smell to it 
very nice though. I don't I can't really can't put a finger on the flavour of it. But it's uh, very enjoyable, very enjoyable indeed. Um, I'm also um, found a new pipe maker on eBay who uh, is making me a pipe at the moment. So uh, I'm not asking if I can uh, advertise for him. I imagine I will be able to, but uh, just waiting for the to arrive. Sent me a photo of the shape of it. Very good. Should be a nice big poker. I have uh, olive wood I've requested for change. So I've not got a proper poker and I've not got an olive wood pipe. Got cherry, briar, meerschaum, corn cob, not olive wood. And I've seen um, one fat bastard, I think it's one fat bastard, uh, his olive wood pipe's a grain on it, it's really quite nice. And the grain on this is quite nice, I'm having it mixed, uh, smooth and rusticated. So I'm very excited about that when it arrives. Very excited indeed. Also, if anyone knows of anyone who makes bowls for Calabash, because uh, I think this is a fitted bowl in here, and uh, it's a gourd one, so obviously you can't really get these anymore. But I'd quite like the old uh, Sherlock Holmes removable top bit. So, if anyone knows of any uh, people who can make one, they could uh, drop me a little thingy in the comments. I'd be much appreciated. So, before I go as well, because um, it's gone on far too long, this video, uh, looking forward to meeting everyone at the. I should be going to the Pipe Smoker Championships. Not competing because obviously I can't even keep a little pipe lit, so I think I'd use all my time for getting it lit and uh, still smoking it. So, look forward to meeting everyone there and uh, hope everyone has a good day.